The Boston Celtics are going to the Eastern Conference Finals, man. Oh my God, what a series we just got, man, because I don't even know what I just watched. I'm trying to wrap my head around this whole entire series and try to give you guys a recap for what we just watched and what we just witnessed. I can't even do it, like I can't even speak. They're still going right now, by the way. They're still going right now. I don't even know what's going on, but it's garbage time. We're doing our thing, and I have no clue what's going on. But first thing I want to talk about is Grant Williams. This man started off absolutely horrible. He started off bad. He was getting open looks and open looks, and I was like, keep taking the shot every single damn time. That's even what they said on commentary. They were like, take the shot every single time because you're not going to get a better look than that. And he kept doing it. And he kept making it. And he kept making it. I don't even know how many shots the man took. My laptop's actually going to die. Oh my God. This is really bad. We got to wrap this video up real, real damn quick, bro. I got to give you guys my raw reaction of what just happened as a Boston Celtics fan. I was literally contemplating, do I make a video right now or do I wait till later? I said, fuck it. Let's do it right now. You know what I'm saying? Grant Williams actually took 18 damn threes today, bro. He made seven of them, so he went 38%, which isn't bad uh, for him. I'm very happy with the way that everybody played today. Everybody, you know, gave, you know, maximum effort today, and I'm so glad about that. Jason Tatum played amazing. He only took 14 shots, and that just goes to show how good of a basketball player he is because he doesn't need to take the shots to get this team going, you know what I'm saying? He had, oh shit, he had seven turnovers today. I didn't even see that, but he had eight assists. He had 23 points, a 15 plus minus, did his thing, bro. Al Horford gave us, Al Horford gave us amazing defense, grabbed as much boards as he can. He had 10 today. He played amazing defense on Giannis, amazing health defense on Giannis as well. And another guy who played amazing defense on Giannis today was Marcus Smart. I was just talking about in my previous video about how Marcus Smart was playing very good defense on him uh, as the primary defender. And he kind of was playing good one-on-one -on -one defense on him. This man is 6'3", playing defense on damn near the best player in the whole entire world, bro. This is why he's Defensive Player of the Year. People really need to realize that. Another guy, Jalen Brown, he played amazing defense on Giannis. Not to mention his offense is what really got this game going because in the second quarter, we were not making anything, bro. We were not making anything. And the thing is, the man was missing a lot of free throws, and I'm really, really mad about that. But that's besides the point because we won this game. It's time to celebrate, bro. He made a bunch of timely buckets to keep us in this game when we were down, and I really do applaud him for that. I'm very happy about that. Derek White, I don't even know what to say about you, bro. You had a good game. You played good defense. That's really all I can say about you because you were, you know, bricking your shots. But we saved you, bro. We saved you because we won the game. Remember when I said that I could say something good about every single person? You know you can probably say something bad about Daniel Tice because he didn't have a good game today. But there was this one play that led to a smart and one, a smart putback. He blocked, I can't remember who he blocked, but he had a nice ass block. Uh, smart came down, um, can't remember who made the layup or who missed the layup. Marcus Smart, putback dunk, I love to see it, bro. Man of the hour, pain purchase, the man I wanted to talk about. If I can find this video real quick, I will put it up. I'm probably not gonna find it, to be honest with you. But what I was saying in the video is that pain Pritchard, when he gets hot, he don't stop. And that's exactly how I feel about this Boston Celtics team. I have preached this so many times on this channel that when the Boston Celtics get hot, they do not stop. I said that and I predicted that for the Brooklyn Nets series. And now I predicted it for the Milwaukee Bucks series. To beat the defending champs on their home court in a pivotal game six, win or go home situation, we pulled it out. Come back in Boston. We did our thing, bro. And we defended our home court. There was absolutely no way that we were going to lose three times at home. Absolutely no way, bro. We got to get ready for the Miami Heat on Tuesday, man. And I'm so damn excited, bro. And I'm going to let you guys know this right now. There's a video coming about the Milwaukee Bucks and what the hell I just watched, bro. Because there were so many bad things that happened with them. They were not disciplined. Coach Bud, I'm just so damn disappointed in you, bro. Let me go to this box over before my laptop dies, bro. The fact that Grayson Allen played 21 minutes absolutely blows my mind. The fact that he started after the game that he had in game six is absolutely insane to me. Coach Bud, your job is on the V-line, if you ask me. That's just how I feel. But that's for another video for another time. Um, Giannis, 10 for 26, not good. Brooke Lopez, start off the game hot, couldn't finish. Drew Holiday, 9 for 21. They really did miss Chris Middleton, man. They miss Chris Middleton. And you can't even use the excuse that if Chris Middleton was there, then they would have won. Because what happened last year, Kyrie went down, 
James Harden went down and y'all ended up winning that series. So I don't want to hear it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Boston Celtics are going to the Eastern Conference Finals. Let's get ready for Tuesday. Let's get ready for the Miami Heat and let's beat them boys. Let's go to the NBA Finals. I want to see it. For the first time in my damn life, I want to see it. Well, not really, but still.